again thank you for joining my channel so it's been a minute since i've been behind the camera so just bear with me so in today's video we are going to be talking about um how i joined the navy so i after i did my channel with kenya marikani uh, I got so many questions and people had a lot of questions to ask me and some of the questions are in my phone so I'm gonna be reading from my phone and one of the questions was uh, it's my dream one day to join the Navy but how will I join the Navy first of all to take you back to that I joined the Navy back in 20 21 no yes it was in 2021 in the month of november so i came to the u.s the same year and i came to the u.s like july and in like four months i joined the navy uh if you want to know about how i joined the navy uh you can go back and check on kenya marikani and so yeah, I stayed in the U.S. for like, yeah, actually that was in Texas now, not generalizing as U.S., but to be specific, that was in Texas, and yeah, I joined in November, just a few days after my sister joined, we were actually supposed to go on the same day, but the planes were full, so we were not able to go, so... So I joined in the month of November and I was done with the training up to the month of January because it's like a two months training. That was like eight weeks. Right now it's 10 weeks. So that was fun. I would say it was fun and there was a lot to learn. And by the fact that I hadn't uh, like interacted with the people from here, it was fun and at the same time hard for me, but at least I was able to go through it all. So I thank God for that. And people want to know how to join the Navy from or any other branch of the military from uh, Kenya or from other parts of Africa. Uh, I would say first of all, you have to have a permanent resident for here and to have a permanent resident you have to have a green card so yeah you must be a permanent resident and the other thing is that you must you you are either a permanent resident or you are a citizen of the united states of america so it's not easy to join from other countries or it's not easy to join from Kenya or it's not easy to join from Africa so yeah that's one of the things that you're supposed to have so joining joining the military from uh, another country is just as difficult as it seems so um, another question is I'm enrolling into the officer path I've been thinking about this. I'm not an officer, but when Tuka uh, gave out my story, they were like, she joined and now oh, she's an officer. No, I'm not an officer. Uh, I'm not even a petty officer. So we have petty officers, we have officers, commission officers, or all, all kind of stuff. So I'm not an officer yet, I'm just enlisted. So. Uh, am I looking forward to being an officer? Um, I don't know, but uh, when I joined and then I heard that you can also be an officer, I was like, okay, it's something that I can think of, but I don't know if I'm gonna join or not. I don't know if I'm gonna get to like being an officer, but if I want, of course I can. And we were talking uh, with my friend, and I was like, "Yeah, an officer path would be nice." So 
not decided, but I might surprise you. I might be an officer soon. So, yeah. Um, another question was, how old should I join? Like, they were asking, what's the age limit? So, for the Navy, it's I think they modified that to like 40 years old so you can join as a 40 years old guy and do your career could be a career for you just do your 20 years and then you retire in like 20 years because the retirement for the navy as an enlisted person will be like 20 years and then you get all your uh all your what are they called like benefits so yeah so you could join from 18 to 40 if you're 18 between the age of 18 to 40 years old yes one thing i would like to mention is before joining the navy at least try to swim because it's one of the qualifications that you're supposed to have before going forward and it was a little bit hard for me because uh, I didn't know how to swim and they had to teach me and it wasn't fun because <laughs> it was during the month of winter and it was hard like walking through the winter with all the snow um, falling on your back, on your backpack, everything so yeah I would if you want to do just know how to how to swim just know how to swim but they will teach you but it's not fun when they start teaching you so that's why I'm saying it's better than you try and you know how to say it. So, yeah. So, that question was uh, how to join, and then how do people get to this US Navy? Because the Kenyan one, uh, I wasn't able to join. Just like I said, it's not easy to join when you're not here and when you're not a permanent resident. Also, you cannot join when you are a uh, US student. Like the student who come with student visa, no, you cannot join with a student visa. You can also not join with the, what is it called, the visitor's visa. No, you cannot. So, the two, the two things, being a citizen and uh, being a permanent resident will help you a lot. How did you manage to go there since you failed the English test? Um, I would say yes, I failed the English test. But did that stop me from coming to the US? No. First of all, I wanted to come to the US through a student visa. And I thank God I never came through a student visa because coming in through a student visa, it's hard to get papers. So. Yeah, I failed my test because one thing, they have an accent. When I tell you that someone here who is born here and who speaks in the accent of the US, sometimes they don't understand what I say or they don't understand what someone else says. We all have accents. You will understand what I mean. So during this um, during this test, there was audio, there was speaking, there was listening. Sometimes I couldn't hear what they were saying, and that was also another problem when I went to uh, when I went to boot camp. But with getting to like live with them, stay with them, work with them, you get to be able how to. Uh, understand them and they get to be able to understand you so yeah i failed and then i managed to come here so let nothing stop you from doing what you want let not let nobody tell you that you cannot do it yes you can do it i believe in the things that people believe that no you can't you can you have all the power the power lays in your hands the power lays in your brains the power is in your mouth the power is in the tongue the power is in you so 
Let nobody tell you that you cannot do them. I believe that there is nothing impossible if you really want to do it. If you have a passion for anything, nothing is impossible. So just keep trying and everything. So, well, if you went with green card, then it's easy. The question should be, how do someone in Kenya with no connection or family just get into the army? I think some of these questions just repeat themselves. So, like I said, you have to be a permanent resident and maybe be a citizen. So it's either the two. And also the army, I have no idea about the army, but they all they all look alike. Like the navy, the army, the military, the values is all the same. So many people really want to join the army. I don't know, but I feel like the army is harder. The U. I mean, the, the Navy, because it starts with the Army. Um, no, I think it's a Marine Corps, and then the Army, and then the Navy, and then the Coast. I think I think the Coast Guards, and then the Air Force. The Air Force is the easiest. Talking about the Air Force, I wanted to do the Air Force before. So, yeah. How? Um, it's my dream. I wanted to join the Navy. To join the U.S. Army. Um, if it's if it's a dream for you, go for it. But there are so many things that people can try and come to the U.S. One is by trying to get a green card. Every October, people uh, fill the green cards. It's called um, the lottery, and some of them get to be lucky to come to the U.S. Try hard. Keep doing it. And don't even give up. It doesn't matter where whether you tried last year, tried even this year if you didn't make it. So I would encourage people to try that. And also, if you have family, I'm sure family can uh, can also help you. But it's not even easy to answer the viewers. And uh, yeah, so that's how it is.